Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about an official Ubisoft forum post that is hinting at year two content or additional content coming in the very near future. And this post went up nearly a week ago and it's actually by one of the community representatives, Ubitune. So this is an official statement. And I originally was going to put out a video about this when it came out nearly a week ago, but with the new tweet that Ghost Recon put up earlier today talking about the amount of players that actually played the Operation Amber Sky DLC, I kind of felt as if I had to make this video because I was blown away by the amount of people that played the Operation Amber Sky DLC and this totally warrants having some sort of a, you know, like year two content or additional DLC coming down the road for 2021. And that is what we're going to be talking about in today's video. So real quick, before we jump into it, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated. Also, for those of you that may be new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads. So first things first, this is the post that was up on the Ubisoft forum that went up nearly a week ago from Ubitum, which is a community representative for Ghost Recon. And this was not put up on any official platforms. I know there was a couple other content creators that made videos about this, but it sort of stayed low key because there's not as many people as you would think that are actually over on the Ubisoft forum. So she goes on to say, I have been summoned. When we have information to share, we share it when we have the go. For now, we can't share anything yet. There will be stuff incoming. I know that it can be really frustrating to be left in the dark, but please don't take then take it out on the people who are trying to represent and help you. Personally, I have been helping with communications on Immortals for the last couple of months, so she has not been active with Ghost Recon Breakpoint, but she wanted to bring this post to us to kind of give us some information and being the fact that there is definitely something coming, they just can't talk about it yet. So does that mean there's a year two content pass or something like that coming? It is definitely possible. Does that mean that there is going to be future DLC? I would probably think so, because going into our next topic here, this is actually the tweet that Ghost Recon put up earlier today. And this pretty much gives all of the numbers when it comes to like the analytics of the Amber Sky DLC. So there were a total of 1.3 million ghosts that actually took part in Operation Amber Sky, which to be honest, the number of people that are calling this a dead game, and then you have a new DLC featuring characters and stuff from a very popular other Tom Clancy game, and you get over a million people that actually tune in and play that DLC, that definitely warrants additional DLC while hopefully... Hopefully in the background they are working on a, another project or working on the next Ghost Recon title. But like I said, being the fact that there was 1.3 million people that played the Operation Amber Sky DLC, 67% of them are using the new Rainbow Six Siege AI teammates, which to be honest, I would personally use those moving forward just because there seems to be a little bit more battle chatter between the AI teammates from Rainbow Six Siege. And that was one of the coolest things was the ghost of Ghost Recon Wildlands was the constant chit chat and battle chatter between the AI teammates kind of it was more immersive, um, you know, to be blunt. And uh, I think that would be a great addition in the future because, you know, we had to wait over a year for the AI teammates and then the battle chatter really wasn't there compared to what it was in Ghost Recon Wildlands. And then you can also see that there was 3.1 billion shots fired, which obviously means that some of you guys aren't very accurate with your weapons. And all jokes aside, obviously there was a ton of people that really enjoy taking photos in video games. And you can see here that there was 1.2 million hours spent in the photo mode during Operation Amber Sky. And like I said, I don't have any inside information. I don't have any idea what's going on so far. But do I think there's year two content coming? I would definitely say this warrants it. Being the fact there was this many people that participated in Operation Amber Sky in what a lot of people are calling quote unquote a dead game. And also going back to Ubitune's post over on the official Ubisoft forum saying that there is something coming but they don't have the green light to talk about it yet. But with all of that being said, I am extremely excited about what could possibly be coming down the pipeline for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I know there's a lot of people that don't, you know, they don't like this game. Um, I definitely had more fun playing Ghost Recon Wildlands, but I do enjoy my time playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And I know I've talked about this on the channel dozens of times, but I hope it is some sort of a future soldier DLC, a full-blown future soldier DLC, because obviously we had the Red Patriot DLC that had ties with Bodark and had Scott Mitchell and stuff like that with him being on the radio. But uh, I would like to see a full-blown future soldier DLC where we get like hunter team icon skins so we can make all of our AI teammates look like the AI teammates from Ghost Recon Future Soldier. 
um, because the timeline of Ghost Recon Future Soldier and Ghost Recon Breakpoint sets up really nicely because they are very similar in timeline. They are within a year of each other in the actual official Ghost Recon timeline. So I think that would be really cool um, for some sort of a crossover leading possibly into the next game or just to further the content and story of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. But overall, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I don't want to keep rambling because I could talk about this all day. If you guys enjoyed it, you are excited about the possibility of new content coming down the pipeline very, very soon. Make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on all content surrounding Ghost Recon Breakpoint on the channel moving forward. Also, make sure to leave your thoughts on this down below. What would you like to see in some sort of a year two content pass? Would you like to see some more PvP stuff? I know the PvP community has been very upset um, because they feel like they're being sort of left behind because there really has not been a lot of PvP content. Um, and from a story perspective, what would you guys like to see in a future DLC for Ghost Recon Breakpoint? But overall, that's going to do it for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.